Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, what is your favorite thing to eat? I mean, really, what do you like to eat? If you're watching this with somebody, you should like pause it and just talk about what you like to eat. But uh, uh, I mean, are you one of those people who's picky about what you eat? Because I am. Or are you somebody who will like, I'll eat anything. I'll try anything. I like everything. Uh, are you somebody who will try something new and different? I, I've had to try some new and different things when I've done mission travel, because if you're in somebody's home and they're from another culture, you can't really say, no, I don't eat that. If you're an American, I'll tell you straight up, I don't like that and I'm not going to eat it, but uh, I'm not going to do that to somebody who's living in extreme poverty and offers me something in their house. So I've had to eat stuff that I really, really, really didn't want to eat. Uh, now, I have a daughter, and when she was little, my youngest daughter, Alyssa, uh, she, I, she was what I called a psychic food critic because she could look at something and decide she didn't like it. And it would drive us crazy because we're like, oh, just try it. We know you'll like it. You like other things like it. Nope, she would not do it. So in that context, Psalm 34, 8, I'm just going to look at this one verse in Psalm 34, says this, taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Don't, don't you love that picture? Don't you love that image? Uh, he's saying, look, sample God's goodness and you'll like it. Try on the love of Jesus and it's just right for you. You will delight in it. Now, I've had friends that tried to get me to try stuff. In fact, uh, they were what I call false prophets because um, I'm in Africa and my friend says, oh, you got to try, you got to drink this coconut milk and you got to eat the stuff out of it. It's so good. You will love it. I did not love it. Uh, I said, no, you can have mine. I'm not really a big fan of that. And people have done that with other things. Oh, you will love this. I guarantee it. And it's like, man, eh, not really. It's okay. But uh, I could eat it, but uh, not throw up. But it's not my, it's not my cup of tea. Uh, but here's what I know. If you taste and see that the Lord is good, well, you'll find out that he is good. Because the more of Jesus you take into your life, the more you will love him and the better your life will get. That, that's how it works. Now, your life will not be free of problems or free of pain or free of sorrow, but you'll definitely have the ability to still praise God, still serve God, still celebrate the reality that God is with you and that heaven is your destiny. But you have to actually taste and see that the Lord is good and, and then consume more and more and more of him until Jesus fills your life. So taste and see that the Lord is good. I dare you. And I'm praying you'll do it and have a great day.